Hi, Hiya, Pally. Okay, it's Stuart from Watch Trader. Hey, bud. I'm just picking up your message, eh? Looking to sell you Tudor. Yeah, I, just, I bought it last year just to get on their list. Mm -hmm. I just managed to order Oyster Flex Daytona Rose Gold and they put me on like only a one year wait. Okay. So I just kind of sweetened them up so now I don't really need it anymore. So no worries. Yeah, I just wanted to sell it. How much are you looking for? Uh, as close to two as possible. I paid two and a half last year. I know I'm not going to get that back for it. So yeah. I want it to be as close to two. For us, I would probably be looking to retail a top end for like 2400 25 okay. something like minus fee so for me to buy it we're probably talking around 16 1700 did you do 1750 i'll do 1700 okay that's fine i can drop it to to your guys in nice where i took the ap to in that last year yeah no problem uh when would you like to go uh wednesday no problem so if you just drop me a message on tuesday just to give us a little nudge yeah. and we'll have everything sorted for you okay no worries i'll see you also i managed to buy um so i'm still buying watches from my guy so I've got like a few watches. I've got a Patek, um, white gold, blue dial, um, Aquanor, unworn, um, all box and papers. I've got a few watches that I'm interested to see, like what the value is over here now. Yeah, so the, Aqu the Aquanor blue dial is probably worth ballpark 60k. Okay. Um, Demand's a little bit less than the green. Green's probably touching on the 70, but the, the blue's always a little bit less for some reason. I've got um, rose gold, chocolate dial, presidential, they did 40. Yeah. Um, it's 2021. I've got a really, I've got a different one actually. I've got an AP diver. It's yellow and black with a carbon fiber on it. It's right. 2013. It sounds like a nice watch. Diver. No, it's like... really cool. It's got the yellow strap and the black strap, and okay. it's got the carbon around the outside, and it's fucking mint. Like it's absolutely mint. I can send you pictures of that. Uh, yeah, send it over. I'll be interested. I'll be interested in buying it if you're thinking if you're thinking about selling yeah. that and your um your day day chocolates. Send them over, and we'll see if we can work, work a deal out. Maybe we can do something before Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. I'll send you some pictures, and then you can just let me know. All right, pal. Nice speaking to oh, you. Mate, take care. Sure. I'll speak to you. I'll text you, you the pictures of those, and then I'll, I'll catch up with you Tuesday about the Tudor. Perfect, mate. Take care. All right, mate. Tell me. Bye, bye. bye. Essentials, coffee breaks. Reference one seven eight two seven one. First one millimeter. And um, bimetal metal ever rose. Okay, yeah, I'm just. I'm, how, how old is it? Two sixteen. December six sixteen. Yeah. Used, yeah. Yeah, it's still got stickers. It's still got the factory stickers on it, but still worn. Do you know how much you want? I was looking for around about the seven and a half pound. I would probably want to be given six seven fifty for that watch. Six seven fifty. Yeah. What mine is your wife's. Let me talk it over with her. I'll, I'll give you a bullshit back. Yeah, no problem, pal. No problem. Okay, good. Cheers, but thank you. Bye bye. Look, there's Pet. We give him a call. See if he's in. Yeah, Aleem, I've got his number. Aleem. Hello. What's happening, mate? It's Stu. Good, thank you, Stu. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Guess what? I'm actually just coming past your place now, down here dropping a watch off. I was wondering what you're up to. Come and show no, you some stuff. No way, what, what a surprise, you got to pull in, how far are you? Mate, I'm literally five minutes away. I'll pull in, come and say come hi. Come through, come through, always a pleasure. I'm waiting for you to the red carpet's out. Okay mate, see you soon. There we go, we'll call in. What's happening, brother? How are you, sir? Good. Good, good, thank you. What's the latest? How are you? Big man. How are you? What's going on, Sir, man? how are you? Kevin, Harry. Nathan, meet Harry. Harry, Harry, meet Nathan. Oh. oh <laughs> <laughs> Guys, very nice of you to come by. Come on through. Nathan just got so excited by this phone call. He was like, you know, I actually love watches. I was like, well, why are you, why are you working with me? And he goes, because I love cars as well. I said, well, this is brilliant for people who love cars. Yeah, we've been, we've been watching the show, the LA Weekly, so we thought we're in the area. Come on, let's go and see yeah. my man. I've been watching your show as well. 
especially remembering Josh. Uh, welcome, welcome to Pet. This is your first time here? Yes, actually the first. I've drove past a few times, pal. Yeah. I met you obviously before a few times in London, we've chatted. But yeah. It's actually the first time I've been down here, so that's the car I really want to see. The colour, man. Right, well, why not get you, uh, get you the keys for this? I mean, I think this is a car you like, is because you can see yourself in it. Like, this, one's got the, um, this one's got the orange mandarin interior. Um, come on through, bro. So have you got a few of these, yeah? Uh, yeah. So uh, this, well, this is the first Cullinan that we've had. Have a sit in this one. Right, guys, whilst they're out over there filming this, I wonder what's in this briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Put it down very lightly. It's probably a million pounds in that. <laughs> Personally, this one would be the one for me. I like the size. I like the road presence. I like the style of it. It's, it's just doing everything for me, really. So we have an SLS here as well. This car, I think will always have a position in, in the automotive world purely because of the doors. Yeah. So it has like these gold wing doors that open up sideways. In fact, let me get you the keys. So we've got the keys, so we've got the keys. This it's is like a, yeah. a holy grail car as well, you know? That's With the doors going up. So this is a fun fact for uh, some of you watch Trader viewers as well. Um, if this car was to topple over, the doors have a gas canister in them that make the doors explode off. So you can get out of the car if it's on its roof. Panty dropper that I've had a Lavella like. Yeah, it's a panty dropper, isn't it? Is that what you said? Panty dropper. <laughs> <laughs> so we have pretty much every single model of Lamborghini here at Platinum Executive Travel. We have Lamborghini Urises, which are our most popular cars. So there's not one here, so they're all out. Yes. They're all making yeah. money, they're all working. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Things that are, are different about the Platinum fleet, I would like to say, for example, the Rolls Royce Cullinan and why this catches your eye more than um, maybe some of the other cars is because the wheels that are on this, they're Forge Yatos. So they come from America. We, we like to set up our cars completely different to everybody else, make sure that we go that extra mile to make them look real special. These are not factory Rolls Royce wheels, so. So what size uh, is that? So they're, they're, no, the size is um, 24 inch. This is one of the only countries, right, that where we go crazy for four by fours. This Rolls Royce Cullinan, right, at one point, uh, they slumped down to 230, 240K. Now, if you go online, there's more Bugatti Veyrons for sale than Rolls Royce Cullinans, and this is a mass produced car. Mm. This car today, with 55,000 miles on it, is still worth 280 grand, 285 grand. Black, if you were to order this car brand new today from Rolls Royce, 395,000 pounds. But Lamborghini Urus, 200,000 pounds, you can yeah. pick one up for. Now the new one's coming out, 235, 240, but it's a lot of car. And seeing as you haven't driven one before, hopefully we can probably pop over to Newcastle and yeah, show man. the boys like they have come down to Payne's next time We have, we'll have to go to check out it. their place and pop down in, a, in an Urus or something. Uh, but I'm very interested to see what's in these briefcases. You guys are teasing me with it. I know it's not a drill. Oh, look, another briefcase. This is like GTA, the ultimate heist. How long have you been in this showroom? Okay, so this showroom was built in 2013. This is my very famous aquarium with no fish in it. Right, let's have a, let's have a look. Was this the first place you opened or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's yeah. the house, wasn't it? The yeah. So I remember oh, watching oh, the old, the old yeah, also, this used to be This used to be a petrol station. Okay. My dad used to buy and sell cars from here. And then in 2006, um, he bought his first Rolls Royce Phantom after selling pretty much everything. His Ferrari, BN, uh, remodels in your house, everything like that and bought a Rolls Royce Phantom after what he saw at the Dorchester Hotel. And then he never so stopped it. Was it that. white? No, it wasn't white. It was flagstone grey, the first one. So I remember like the old school photographs of you at your house with all of the cars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Think back in the day, yeah, so. Yeah. How we see then, it's just built up and built up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I say, we love the channel. Yeah. So we're fourth. Every week. Communicate, let's pop down. Yeah. Let's, let's, we'll of course, it's gotta be done. I, I also love your channel so much. You know, I was, uh, every, in fact, do you know how I actually came across your channel? I didn't go out looking for it, searching it. It came up on my explore page. Okay, that's good. And the one person that really drew me into the channel. <laughs> what was it? It's, it's the baby face. It's like, how does the baby sell so many thousands of watches? I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, man, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Literally, right. we're, it was just like, a, off the cup thing, we're like we've literally been doing it for two months, and we've, we've seen how it does yeah. develop your business. So I think going forward, it's yeah. a good thing to do. Like we're yeah. big on Instagram, social media, blah blah blah. But with the, with Inst with the YouTube, you get totally different sort of people. Yeah, but it's also uh, having an organic and having a strong kind of fan base of a following. Yeah, now, uh, for me, there is so many channels that you can watch, but what drew me into Watch Trader UK was the fact that you guys all seem to work as a team, which gives me the renaissance of what we do here as well. Like, you know, we're like a family. Um, and there's a lot of trust 
involved when working and stuff like this. Yeah. And trust and loyalty is something that you cannot buy. Yeah, of course, that's what we're finding, 100%. Yeah. With customers, who's going to send us a watch that's never met us before from London, wherever it might be in the country. But they've jumped on our YouTube, they've seen us before, mm. they can appreciate what we're doing, they see that we're genuine people. They'll send us the watch, there's no issue, yeah. they'll pay. They'll pay for a watch, then we'll send them the watch. It's yeah. credibility. That's where they're yeah. 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 start it was just credibility, then now it's generating sales and obviously we're buying more watches, so it works. So you guys are based in Newcastle? We've got a boutique in Newcastle, been doing watches for maybe seven or eight years prior to that we had a pawnbroken business mm. had a cut out of business in the jewelry quarter Good. i was in the jewelry quarter yeah, 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 for three yeah, or four yeah. years and buying and selling gold it's not very it's not popping around here in Brom though uh, is it it's not I'm, it's, 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 I, I, I don't know why, what what it is but, but jewelry we have we have a whole area yeah, right where it's called yeah, jewelry, yeah. jewelry quarter i was on and, spencer and, and there's no place where you can walk in and have pieces mm. like this there i don't understand why it's like, so you've got London, you, you know, but for in the north, I think we're pretty much one of the biggest are on the way to being. Probably the thing, you're being very humble, eh? Yeah, I think, uh, who, else is, who else is, I, I don't know anyone else up north think, that's watching Yeah, that. across the water, but nothing like in central Newcastle. Mm. Yeah, so you've probably got like Rock Rockefellers in Manchester, apart from that. Oh. Blah, blah. Rockefellers, eh? Huh? Have they, they been in the business a long time? Yeah, yeah long, long, long time. Oh. Long time, then you've got anything down on the book. Lot but see, it's about innovation. You can be you can be in the game for a very long time. It's what are you doing to innovate? What yeah. are you doing to break the mold? What are you doing that is moving with the times? You know, a few years ago, people used to laugh at me, right? Yeah, and be like, ah, oh, this guy, he's always in the fucking camera. He's always doing this, that, and the other. And now, first they want to know what the recipe is of your success. And then when they find out by then, we've already built the brand. Yeah. But also the way that the whole show is filmed as well. It's got a very calm tone towards it. Josh is there, and he's talking to... He's not even trying to sell the watch. The, the the big question as well, how do you feel safe walking around? This is not normal. This, no, this, this is not normal. This is not normal, no, is it? No, 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 no way, this no, is not no. fucking normal. No, no. This, this, this was before we had the store, blah, blah, blah. This was normal for me and my brother, backpack selling, going around all the dealers in Manchester, going meeting people like you, private customers. But since we've had the store, it's just, yeah. it just doesn't happen. Can I? Yeah, yeah let's go. Yeah. Oof. Look at your eyes lighting up. No, I'm not buying you one today. We're gonna to have to do another 20 weeklies before we can buy our first Rolex, okay? <laughs> uh, wow. So we have a the ceramics. Let's, let's keep this way. We have a, a black dial. So this is a white dial. I think we would need both of them really to complete the pair, don't we? Let's take a moment. Can you put on some mad effects right now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this box here is a slice of heaven. You may know about special cars. I think you guys need to be taught uh, a thing or two about special watches. And that's why the boys here from Watch Trader are here. Josh, go on, talk us through it. I, I do like watching you on the YouTube channel. How are you doing? How are you doing, Doris? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pass it on to you, so. Pass it. Good, mate, good. Right, what is it? What, look, do you got? 3501. This one is a steel skeleton. Look at this part. Nice pieces. Has things, has business. Good mate, good. Yeah. Where you come from? So I'll wear, I'll wear base in Newcastle. What year is this? 2020. Yeah. This is a holy grail watch. It's a skeleton. So the last one I bought maybe three or four months ago was like 95 or 100 grand. Just recently they've just gone up and gone yeah. up. Yeah, so rose gold now is, is touching on best part of 200. The same watch in, in rose gold. Where this one, how much are you asking for this job? Uh, 35. Same watch, but obviously not scan time, yeah. scan nice. 35 grand. It's a very, very difficult piece to get hold of. And that's a 5,990. Yeah. Very gorgeous piece. Rose gold. You sold something just recently in Birmingham? Yeah, yeah, we're going to drop something off. We've uh, sold something to uh, Villa Solo. Really different. Fantastic, aren't they? To make a good, good strong one here. Man. You've had it some time or? That watch I've had maybe for two, three weeks. Oh, right. Yeah, we, we sell quite a lot of Richard Mill. So you have to give strong to buy? Of course, yeah, there's just small margins or small, same as most You can't make them, you can't buy them cheap. Nah, of course you can't, yeah, everybody does. Do. Everybody wants to do it, yeah. Phil's yeah. back home with more wrist pops. What's the tag on that? Like three, 300, low, 310. Oh, but this is 01, you know, not even 02 pops yeah. now. Yeah, so the old two. So I recently saw the re the red one. So the red one's less yeah. less than the um, than the than the black that you have. Yeah, what you using? Oh, one that's mint. Yeah, it's mint. Really tiny yeah. piece. I've got yeah. everything with it. They've got both straps. I've got the velcro strap. Everything. It's all just like two nineteen service. Do, do you want to put a wish list request in <laughs> for eleven oh three titanium? Remember? Yeah. So that's that watch in titanium. Well, it's got the titanium size, but full titanium. So that's around. With the titanium, it's around 220. That's, that's the sizing of the 1103. And then, if you're going to carbon, 
that's a beautiful carbon like 100 gram yeah more yeah 100 gram more on top I think if, you, if we're going for that, it's best to throw that another 80, 100 quid in and get that carbon. What do you think? It depends on what you, it's up to you. The, your money's pretty much always safe. It's in just carbon. like you just pour water against really how much yeah, it's going to spend. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's in that or the other one, yeah. they're both safe anyway. Both safe, yeah. Or you've got like an RM30 titanium, which is like ballpark 150, but you're getting a lot of watts for 150 grand. The case size is a bit smaller than the RM. 1103 but it's, it's a really really nice watch. Okay. See I find that you know it's like um, specking up a Bugatti when you when you go this far you think oh god they've got that little bit oh yeah god have got that little bit well, well, put roof on it yeah do this put, get the you know spoiler black of course you know so you put all these bits on it it's also gonna it's gonna end to, to your hand value when you yeah, sell it yeah absolutely yeah but if you buy a plain Jane then you're only gonna get plain Jane without a shadow of doubt um, briefcase are lovely and uh, the watches are Rolls Royce Definitely. Yeah, well, obviously watches and cars come hand in hand, so yeah. forward come down, show them some stuff. Yeah. But, but I'll let you carry on your work right now. Yeah. And uh, listen, uh, 1103 titanium. So, um, titanium or carbon, mm -hmm. uh, late piece 2021. But, 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 but I've seen that, yeah, RMs are great and everything, right, yeah. But you know, honestly, this this here is one of the most special watches you're going to ever find. I promise you. Not many of those, about is it? <sighs> no, 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 definitely it's not. Because it's a steel watch. It's impossible to find it. You can only buy it pretty much in grey market from people like us, it's unless you're spending a ridiculous amount and within AP. Not to not to visually think like that. It's going to go, up, but it's, it is going nowhere. But yeah, so the last time I bought one was like three months ago, and it was ninety five grand. Now it's one hundred twenty five. Sixty eight grand. It's got gold in this. Yeah, so like a what? plate. Gold in no, that's in the mechanism. But that's what that's what even most most watches and the mechanism you're allowed a little bit. No, you're not. You are, of course you are. There's no watch in the world that has steel in the movement as well, Pops. Otherwise, right guys? Yeah, correct. <laughs> <laughs> trying to blag a blagger. <laughs> Tell him it don't work. Yeah. Hey? Nice to see you. Listen, you can never rob a robber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Right now, it feels like I'm submersed in the Watch Trader channel. Where do you want to start? Where do I want to start? Okay, I want to start, I want to start with the Patek Philippe's. 5711 rose gold. Why, why is this one chunkier than this one on the side profile? So it's a chronograph in the movement in size. It is a chunkier watch. Mm -hmm. So it's a 5990. This is the 5711. Okay, but a 5711, blue dial, shall we say, um, is now 100k plus. It's a little bit less. A little bit less. It's, it's discontinued, but it's, it has dropped down a little bit. Exact same watch. With a green dial, it's trading for 250 to 300k. There is so many different manufacturers you can choose from, but the one obviously I wanted to really, really talk about, and you know, there's not many of these watches that you will see out and about. Um, I don't know if maybe you're in Dubai or Saudi Arabia, but it's these Richard Mills. Josh, take us away. Talk, t tell us a bit more about Yeah, so the discontinued RM11 Felipe Massa, rose gold and titanium case. So this is a 2014 watch. Now, Richard says that this is a racing machine on your wrist, that's what he calls yeah. it. So it's like the Lamborghini yeah. of cars on your wrist. Now, so. if you guys don't already know, Richard Mill are now also uh, the racing sponsor for Ferrari. They are also McLaren's sponsor as well. Richard actually says the RM1103 is a racing machine on his wrist, he calls it. Look, they have another one here as well. This is, they're both the same pieces? No, so this oh. is the 1103. This is the rose gold and titanium. This, 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 this watch, rose gold and titanium. So it's slightly different. This is the GM, awesome. GMT flyback. Yeah. This is NTPT. Right, the thing I loved about it was it was so lightweight. But the one thing that always <laughs> my pants was, this is nearly um, a quarter of a million to 300,000 pound watch. You sometimes forget that you're even wearing it. Yeah. And you know, there's been so many times where I've been going about my day and stuff and I've been like, whoa, oh, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is also a very interesting. That's an RM11 um, black kite. Is this uh, 50 or 30 pieces? One 30 pieces. Yeah, one of 30 pieces, this watch. So with, with a lot of RMs, they're, they're very limited. All right, even though it's lovely seeing uh, some of these pieces, I am not allowed for religious reasons to wear gold. So I normally steer away from gold as much as possible. So that's why um, the NTPTs are very attractive. This is like nearly a 300 gram watch, 350 gram watch. This is 250. Some of these are very special, but there is nothing that I believe that is as special in this whole collection as this Audemars Piguet skeleton piece. This is stainless steel holy grail, ladies and gentlemen. How many of these have you sold now? Personally, probably three. This is the first Only one we've three. had in... Only three, what? <laughs> the last one we had, 
three months ago was actually twenty five thousand pounds cheaper than it is today in the market. Would yeah. you have the skeleton for say one thirty, or oh. would you have the chrono for thirty five and keep the hundred k? So would you rather have a hundred k in this oh. AP chrono? Oh, now that he said that. You could have £100,000 in the bank, plus the watch, or you could have the one watch. Well, I think if you're talking about just putting the money actually in the bank, your money's going to be better off in the watch. That's true. If you weren't spending the 100k on something else, and you're just keeping it in the bank, as an investment-wise, obviously, you're getting zero interest in the bank, your money's going to be better. Okay, let me ask you guys a question now. This is a question that I get asked a lot, right? What is your favourite car? What is your favourite watch? Probably, truthfully, this watch now. If there was one watch that I could have, and it's the only one watch, I would pick this watch. It's difficult to say, but for me, I'll probably say one that leaves the most profit. <laughs> <laughs> He's the money man. He's the money man. That's all. No, but I like Richard Mill. Like this, this is a sick watch. This is a sick watch. It's difficult when you're seeing these things similar to you with cars. When you're mm. seeing them every day, you probably go back to basics and go with something like the Steel Daytona, yeah. where you're going to wear it every day. For this plug, in exchange for this plug. I am getting gifted a watch! Yes! And we are through to the final segment of Watches and Cars with Watch Trader UK and Lord Aleem and the watch that they are going to be giving me is... Timex. <laughs> I'm in the big leagues, Tony don't miss me Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog like I'm in a big lease, told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throwing a fastball. Just too quick for it. Peeling off like the whip orange. Seen the effort, this piss poor. I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip. Got old problems with the friends new. I don't know, you're right. Are you mate, you okay? Did I miss your call? Yeah, yeah, you did. Boss, are you the boy outside London, yeah? So our boutique's in Newcastle? Yeah, he's, he's Watch Trader, isn't he? Yeah, mate, our business is called Watch Trader. Yeah, because you, are you not doing a lot, like, you showed a lot of videos and all that, yeah? So, yes. boss, what it is, mate, I'm looking for an investment watch, yeah? Mm hmm I'm looking at, I have a, 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 a Black Doll Daytona with box papers, and I was wondering if you might have a deal on it. I'm talking about the stainless steel version, not the ceramic. I don't have any of the older references in, so it's 116520. Two, yeah. yeah, I don't have actually any in stock, but if you if you want me to locate something which is full set and investment criteria, then yeah, I can, I can find you something. So something which is going to be brand new, unworn and stickered, like new old, old stock, you're probably talking best part of, you know, 20 to 25k really. Um, anything no, anything used is under 20. Up. Pre-owned, you, 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 you. Yeah, so pre-owned, you're talking up to 20k, depending on the condition, etc. But the, the the prices have all jumped up recently. It's in, like I say, it's investment. So Josh, in your in your opinion, so that because you know what I don't like to do, Josh, is waste people's time, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you probably feel the same. So for me, Josh, what's important that if we agree what sort of criteria, so that when you come with a timepiece, it's a simple transaction. You with me? Because you know it's like in it. So, so what? Are, so money, what? So right? it's actually straight you're speaking to, not Josh oh, Powell. But sorry, what? Sorry, no worries. Sorry. But uh, what? So what? So what we would do if, if if we don't actually have the watch in stock, we would reach out and would locate something. So we would send you all of the information. If you're happy to go ahead, then. We'll pull the trigger on it. That's that's pretty much how it would work. I'm looking at to be honest with you, I'm looking at about eighteen, Stuart. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, I will leave it to you. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because the problem is, I've got the Daytona, I've got the white dials, but I thought the black dial might look cool to to, to finish the, the collection. You and me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's of course, Stuart. You know, there's other uh, investment pieces that are worth uh, pulling a trigger on. Uh, for, for a ballpark 20k, I think you can't really go wrong with a Daytona, you know, it's, it's proven yeah. throughout the years to, to never have gone down in value, it's, it's something which is, yeah. is, is always going to be desirable, so. It's true, they've got something on their website, but mm -hmm. I don't like dealing with them because they're proper arrogant, mate, up okay. themselves. Yeah, okay. Like, they've they got like big followers and they've like, they, they run the watch game. So, <laughs> so, I like to deal with people that are a little more fresh and vibrant. And I yeah. think you guys demonstrate that on your on your channel, you and me. So, okay. Well, each to each to their own. But so so if you're based, so we're we're actually based in Newcastle, but we also have a partner store in Knightsbridge, so you can always collect something from there. That that's no issue. Right, so in your professional opinion, Stuart, how long do you think it will take for you to source one? 
I can put a call out now, and it, uh, it could be done today. It all depends. It all depends on the requirements. I can, the, 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 the the steel day tone is available now. No problem. Right. So shoot. You got my number. Mm -hmm. You want black, and you want circa twenty k. So my, my budget is eighteen. But okay. I'm always happy to have a conversation. You know, it's like Stuart. You know, the business is business. You know. Okay. Always happy to have a conversation with you. No problem. Okay, well leave it with me. I'm gonna put a call out now. Just bear in mind that it's coming home tomorrow. So uh, it might take a little bit. It might take a little bit longer than, than so, usual. But I get on it now earlier. So hopefully I'll come back with you today. Yeah, done. All right, Stuart. So I look forward to hearing from you. You got my number now, and I'll wait to hear from you then. Yeah, no problem. Leave it, leave it with me. I'm gonna put a call out now and see what I can find for you. And I'll just flick them across. Thank you, mate. All the best. All right, pal. Okay, mate. So which one do you think I bought? I think it's That one. Did you know that? That's the one. Is that oh, that's that one? better. You see that one? Yeah. The tungsten. You bought that one. Well, I bought that one. <laughs> I think I prefer chocolate. I just prefer, prefer like a contrast. Kind of like yeah. Some of them just being all colour. But... Well, do you like the best? The Daytona or the Skylar? I prefer them. That? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a box. That's fantastic. I think that looks like a lass as well. Have a look. What would you, what's your choice? Yeah, yeah, choice. Well, no, right, well, yeah. I throw them up. Yeah, what that, what yeah, about that yeah. one? No, no, no. It, no. If you could have any watch out there, which would you have then? Yeah, it'd be daytime, daytime I think. That one? Yeah. You wouldn't prefer a Skydweller? No. You, you, you've wanted that for ages, well, remember? Mm. You oh, is that the one you yeah, watch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd want it. Well, would you want the yellow gold, gold rubber strap on? I think we prefer the yellow gold, though. We've got a yellow gold one, no. You've got a yellow gold one, then? No, I used to flex. No. Rose is better. didn't you? Rose is better than yellow. Oh, I prefer yellow, mate. Do you prefer yellow? I yeah. think yellow looks a bit. Have you got anything in yellow gold, then? I'm not used to flex. No, Does so it have to be nice to flex? That's the other gold day tone, yeah, huh? Yeah, the gold day tone, huh? But I like the, I like, I like the rose better than the yellow. I'm a sack, I can't believe I preferred yellow gold to, to that. I like yellow gold. Oh, that's oh, lovely, that, isn't it? So that, that's, that, is that, that size yeah. is the same as the chocolate one. Try this strap on. Oh, that's lovely, that. That, that fits this size. That, that's that's good. Good. that one's too tight for me. Yeah, try this one. That's slightly too tight. That's the one I've got there. Strap so this is oh this is the one that I'm having. Yeah, that's the biggest strap. Yeah. That look, look fabulous. That is a beautiful, beautiful yeah. watch. Yeah. I don't know. I think I wrote like some of his legs. Is it legs over pants down? By putting a rubber strap on. No, I've got the flex and the price. Uh, I that one. It's okay. fifty odd grand. Yeah. That one's thirty odd grand. So. So do you like that watch? Yeah. You would actually prefer that yeah. watch over yeah, that. I prefer that size of a watch. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, here's the watchmaker here, so... Oh, it's uh, just, just I can't to leave. On that. What's it doing? No problem. Losing time. Nigel, that yeah, it's losing a bit of time and things. It's, um... Sorry, I'm not as expensive as gold. No. So. Go, right. Gold Swiss for 75 quid, so I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been round the block a few times, haven't you? Bye for now. Thank, uh, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We can change tiles if we want to change tiles, though. So. No. Do you prefer this one or this one? Me? Yeah. I, we said this from the start, didn't we? Which do you prefer? You wanted that one from the start and the chocolate one. I'll be honest with you, I like them both as good as much as each other. I really do. I think it's a lovely watch. Do you know, coming up here, I'm thinking, I'm going to be round, you know, this is the, the, the expensive, the expensive things, you know, they, and they, they really are. You know, what's the value of those? I ain't got to suit you, but... Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. No, no. It's the first in the country, that. No. Yeah, not first no. in the world, but maybe. First in the world, we're we're that. Well, yeah, I'm going to say I only met one of them. You're going to struggle selling that one, I think. <laughs> I've, <laughs> just, I've just sold it, I've literally just sold it. You've just sold it. Oh, my God, yeah. Well, well can I just say here and now, congratulations well, well, to Sheikh Al Maktoum on his new watch. Look yeah. at that. That's beautiful. I well, love that it. Is the first I, I'm not sure. I, I, didn't, I don't really know much about watches, you know. But the Sky Dweller. I've looked and I thought, I, I seem to know who's been tracked as the sky dwellers. Because they're bigger, that's why. Oh, is that why? That's lovely, that. That's a beautiful That's the first in the country, that one. In the Jubilee. Because they have ice that before that. Yeah, that one new, I don't. So what's this one? Just a stainless steel? stainless steel, but it's yeah. like... Josh, how much is the blue sky in Jubilee? Uh, it can be 25. 25,000? Yeah. And what's list? For... What? Uh, 11,850 11, list. Are you joking? Yeah. yeah. What's this price on one of these? 33 grand. That's what I'm saying. Can try to the flex on? See right. I like that. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? It, I think it's... It, it, but it's I prefer the yellow gold. How much is that one, Jack? That's... 30, some, some to this. 30 for 33. 31.5 best. Oh, yeah. Probably conversation last year. 
23 years old. Yeah. Yeah, for the end of the year. Five somewhere, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'm sure it was last year with 23 years Yeah, and the, and the yellow gold one was like 25 grand or something. You were going to park next year, whatever you had. It was the gold that. sub. Oh, the gold sub, yeah. And the gold sub yeah, at the yeah, time, yeah. I thought it was a bit more subtle. Yeah. So you won't you, you pick that watch then, you won't pick that watch out to buy. You'd rather you know, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer a yellow one. Yeah, yeah, I love this, I absolutely love it. GMT. You've got it on you. It's not that many, man. I had No, I won't, no, yeah. So you love that, but you won't drop it for that then? You're no, 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 no. no. In all honesty, no. No, no. I know that sounds bad to you. I know we're a bit strange people, like, aren't we? It's like, you know, no, I, really like I, remember once, I remember once looking at a watch for Mandy, and there was, a, there was a watch what was 10 grand and a watch that was 25 grand. Split the 10. And, yeah, and, yeah. and, the, and the company said, oh, no, she will go for... It, it, wasn't, it wasn't yourselves and me, and I was there. There's another company that said, no, she'll definitely go for the £25,000 one. She's a woman. And uh, I said, oh, you don't know my missus. I said, yeah. you know, um, she won't. She'll go for what she likes. Um, nice, we're not that. We're just a bit weird. Like that. And um, nice. yeah, but that. Oh, that right. oh, that's, 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 that's what I like. Crazy. That's not. You've never had that one. But you've got stainless steel watches, did you? You've had this. I had the blue one. I looked at that because I actually looked. I actually yeah, looked at that one. Well, you had yeah. a Samara blue in yeah. the black face. Yeah. Well, that's white gold, isn't it? Yeah, white gold. That's a Pepsi. That's a watch out. And they're about oh, 30 right, grand so as well, aren't they? That can be 30 grand, yeah. That would wow. be 30 grand. That's really nice. But it's subtle because yeah. to anyone else it looks like a stainless steel watch, but you know. That's right. a white gold watch, watch, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's lovely. Really nice watch. What about that one then? No, I, I prefer. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> you know the watch, but the, I, I like was that yellow gold. Yeah, that was nice. I used to flap, I think it was lovely. Got like 10 grand in the last time we spoke about it. <laughs> He's got, it's yeah, got 10 grand. No, 35 like grand or something, but it's. So, the last time we got gold somewhere, didn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's okay. like 30 grand now. 28 grand. Okay. So. so, so. No. <laughs> this, this is. This, this, <laughs> if, if this is going on your YouTube thing, is it? Yeah. Right. So, to people, this is not going how I wanted it to go. Because I get upset. I've come here today to get me sort of watch. And I wanted yeah. to be getting what you wanted. I get upset, I'm getting upset because I do. Because he deserves it. Yeah. And he don't want one. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve anything like that. Yeah, that's what he said. That's, that's what he thought. I knew I was getting my watch. But you I deserve it. I don't do that. Oh, that's silly. I don't, I, I, I don't have to do it. And I know you love your watch. I love, I love what I've But I wanted to see if you wanted another watch. Honestly, no. And that's why we're looking at him saying, do you want this? <laughs> 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 that makes sense. No, yeah, no, do, you sense. Want, do you want me to get a yellow ball of day tournament to show you? I, 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 don't, I don't want to. I, I know. I don't think you need to. I, don't All right. I hope people sometimes watch this. Oh, we're right. a very lucky family. And, 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 you know, and I always say this. You know, somebody could watch this and think, oh, it's so nice to be spoiled. And I think, I think there's a difference between anyway. spoiled. It's being able to buy things. And well, I think that, certain people spoil well, things. Just, that things. just shows that what type of people you are to me. He, 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 he loves his watch and he doesn't want he doesn't want another one. And but if you want another one, <laughs> I've come to get you a watch. Yeah, You've saved a few quid, Nigel. Go and get some more pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Today you can have extra pizza. Yeah. But you're happy with yours. Anyway, I just want to say this because this is the thing. Harry, work, Harry works. He said he works. We, 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 we brought up to work, and I just want to say, Harry, you've done a great job with bonkers competition. That's what you set up. And I wanted to get you a watch. No, but, yeah. um, that's, that's mad, yeah. Anyway, well, look, give us a good one. Give us a good one. Do you need anything else about this conversation? Thanks, Jack. Uh, thanks, everyone. And I do apologise that... Um, that's it doesn't matter. We sell watches every day of the week. We don't know. <sighs> I know, but... Every life says, like, says, if he loves his, he loves his. He's not going to say, I'll tell you what, they're all about. No, no, no. Yeah, get the all rounds out. <laughs>
So many pink dial. I just liked it when I saw it in the jewelers one year, but then I wasn't really into watches then, so I didn't really know what I was buying. So these watches were from a time when you could tell the year from the serial number? So all the information's in the lugs on these ones, Harry. The serial number now on the newer watches is inside the glass. How much did you pay for it when you bought it? Do you don't remember? I literally couldn't tell you. Probably worth like 3,000, 3, 3,250. Right, okay. Without papers. Do you want to buy it or not? Yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I've got like a Pepsi and uh, um, what's the Batman? So, yeah, is it in the, the new safe? one? I've got them in the safe. Yeah, yeah the newer ones, the newer models, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. And well, then there's like. But I'm waiting until I really want something, if you know right. what I mean, to get get rid. Well, there's probably more than 25 oh, grand yeah. then in those two watches. I know. Harry, she just sold a little date just over an oyster brace of 36 mil with the, the salmon. The salmon Roman dial, um, the fluted bezel without papers, uh, 2001 K series. The watch is uh, 16234, reference without papers. Uh, so, what will happen to that watch now before it gets retailed for a customer? So, we've just bought the watch for 3250 and um, as you can see, it's in quite bad condition. It's probably, it's probably been worn quite a lot, regular, it hasn't had a polish, probably hasn't had a service. So it will be sent to our watchmaker, he'll service the watch, it'll be refurbed and it'll come back like new and we'll put it into stock and inventory. Probably look to sell something like that for around 4500 Yeah, nice little watch. Hello mate. New car from Quaver Villa, what's that What's happening pal, you alright? Right, right Stuart, I need you to do me a favour, I've got my big bro with me, yeah? Um, Rose Gold, Daytona, what are they, what are they fixing? Obviously, you know you know how much I pay for my Daytona, the one that I uh, got into the rainbow kit. Mm -hmm. How much are they planning for at the moment? So, a uh, plane. If you've got a rainbow one. So I've got kits for £2,500, so the watch, depending on how old, you're probably talking like 32 or 37. Hey, Cole, do that, do that, do that, do that, because obviously you can be, you, like, if you've got a, have you got a, like a fairly new one? I have a 17, I think. Yeah. Would you be able to, and let's say for instance the black one, I've got, the, I've, got, I've got some money back for the dial and stuff like that. Mm. If it's completed, would you be able to do me a completed rainbow for 35 to 36 grand? You're going you're gonna to probably struggle because the ballpark figure for, for the watch is probably like 30. It's, it's potentially doable, but I couldn't sell you my 17 right, one right, for that. Right, for, cool. You have the watch already, but your brother wants the same. Yeah, no, 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 no. I haven't got the watch, but the thing is, you see in London, yeah, everyone's a f mate, yeah, everyone's a f and everyone's got, everyone will confuse you because one geezer will say 34 grand for the watch, another geezer will say 35 grand for the watch, yeah. I know you're, you, you're fair every time. I bought a blue face dial for 19 quid the other month. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know you deal with me, correct? And just say, look, if I told my brother now, look, give me 38 quid, yeah, I'll have one completed for you. So, do you, so, so, so do you want me to work out what I can do my Daytona for complete? So it hasn't. I can do the shoulders, but the shoulders will be extra. So I've got the bezel and I've got the dial. If you can get it completed, yeah, he's with me now. If he can get it completed, you just tell me the price and just be straight with me, yeah. And just like whatever it is, I'll just I'll, I'll wire it to you. Just let me know, yeah, please. I'll just like consider this a deal. Just tell me, just give me the figure, yeah, and I'll just and, and I'll pay you the deposit today. Okay, so let's call it back. Two minutes. Alright, cool. Bye bye. Thank you. So I can do my 2017 rainbow kit. You can have it for, for you can have it for 39. Done. With the shoulders, uh, everything, yeah. No shoulders cost me 650. So if you want the shoulders done, it's just pay the price. Do it all in for 39, mate. Nah, uh, there's not that I can say. I can. I'm asking thirty nine grand just for the watch by yourself, so I'm I'm knocking twenty five hundred quid off the watch. Let me think on it and I'll let you know about here. Yeah, mate, no problem. It's it, it's fine. Just just let me know. So it's two thousand seventeen. The watch is perfect. Um, yeah. and I'll have it. I'll have it all done for you. And uh, what face is it? Black face. It's got no. It's got black face now. But I'm gonna. I'll put the rainbow kit in it for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've done an oyster flex as well. I'll show you what it'll look like. I'll send you a photograph. Is that alright? Just so I can, just, just you can, you can bounce, bounce each other. You can choose whatever you want, so you can have, you can have plain or you can have parve. You, grab, you, you just, just decide what you want. So I'll send you a photograph of the watch. There it is, there on the Oyster Flex, and I'll send you a photograph of the. Uh, have you sent it to me now? Yeah, it's on WhatsApp, mate.
I'll send you some photographs of the sets. Oh, this is what I got. Yeah. There you go. The Lesno 2017 box paper has everything with it. Alright mate, we'll get back on you. Alright mate, All right. Take, take care mate. Bye right. bye. So we just received this back from our workshop. It's a rose gold Isoflex Daytona, brand new. But we've actually added the full rainbow kit. So the full power of dog with the rainbow bezel. It's one off one at the minute in the world, so if you want to be have a unique piece and something different to the rest, this is definitely the watch for you. Looks crazy. What are these going for at the minute? This is up for 42k, but obviously we can do a deal on it. And if you have your own rose gold isoflex or yellow gold isoflex, we can get the rainbow kit fitted for you to make it stand out a little bit more. So 2021, mm -hmm. full set, everything with it. You've been looking for one for a while? Yeah, I was a bit, I wasn't sure what's going on. I like the, um, like the Yachtmaster 2. Yachtmaster 2, we had one yesterday, we just sold it yesterday. Day 20, is it? I think the most comfortable watch for every day, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. You're gonna wear it every day or is it more for an occasion? No, no. Occasion watch, just because that's full length, so. Okay. It depends nice. how, it, obviously. Essentially take one Yeah, out. maybe just take one out and we'll yeah. try it. I wear my watch is tight, but I don't know how yeah. you wear your watch is a little bit loose. Sometimes it gets a bit. You got many other watches? Just that one. What you got? Buy metal. Because it's not too loose, it's not too tight, it's pretty mm -hmm. much perfect. But you'll feel the way comparison compare when you serve to that now, mm -hmm. it'll feel a lot heavier. Black dial tones are yellow gold down a bit as well. Looks really clean. Yeah, the green face ones are. Yeah, green face. Yeah. Down. Obviously, they're, they're a lot more money, like 20k yeah. more for what? Like the green yeah, dial? Like 12 months ago, 18 months ago, they weren't, were they? Yeah, just... we, I, f I remember selling one for like 28 grand brand new. Yeah. Probably a year and a half ago. Put 30 grand on that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. <laughs> 60k yeah. plus now. What do you think the value will be like on these? Only going one way really. Yeah. Never well they've never dropped. And obviously mm -hmm. with the green being so high, mm -hmm. it makes all the other dials more con um desirable. Right. Because people don't want to fork out 60k for the same watch. Yeah. When they can get a different dial for obviously 20k yeah. less. Yeah. So it's the same with the scardos, I'll show you a few of the scardolas. Obviously the blues now touching 22, 23 grand. Yeah. So it's making the white dial and the black dial 16, 17k. Mm -hmm. So I can see them being like 18k probably by the next two months or so. Ready to get your supper? I've bought it off a friend. I think it's about 2008 maybe. Yeah. I'm going to buy this one. Oh, it's a flat blue as well. Right. It's a good watch. It's either sunburst or sundust, but one's a, that's a flat blue, so it's actually quite a red. I'll only made it for like two or three years. Mm -hmm. What would that go for now for us to sell it privately or? 2000 I'll probably give like 9k for it. You'd give 9k for it. Like 8.5 to 9k. Mm -hmm. Perfect, right, bye bye. Perfect, man. So yeah. there. Done. Not too stressful in the end, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, sound. There you go, man. Good stuff. If there's anything else you need, just let us know. But the watch is under warranty for full five years anyway. So right, okay. If you ever need it polished or anything, because it's, it's a soft metal, so it's going to it's gonna scratch easy. Did you put mine on in the box? You <laughs> <want> <laughs> in the box, It's in the box, mate. Halfway down the road, <laughs> 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 People, what it is, you know? Let's see what it is. It is the suspense. It's a repair, I know. It's a repair. So this is actually the second time we've had this in stock. And so the is. first the first time it was brand new. Then it came back in stock. The client part exited it for another watch and we got it slightly refurbed and now it's back. Literally looking like brand new. Great. And that is the great model. AP Navy. Offshore. Offshore. Really good model. How much does that go for? Um, around 19k. 19. 19k, yeah. So it's a great model, offshore. Different alternative to obviously a steel sports model Rolex. If you don't want to spend double the list price. And what this is, is list really on List price, you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Are they around? Nah, what, what, what's like ballpark? I don't I think, know. How much. I think 20 plus. 20 plus? Uh, yeah. List so price you're actually better. getting it You're under getting a good value, yeah. Good value watch. Right, really right. good watch. Gone up in value the past two years, probably five to six k. Than the right. last one that we had. And that's. This one. Do you know what year that is? This is twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. It's in stock now. So if you're interested, be quick. Hello, Stu. What's happening? What's happening, brother? I just bought it. Just had a customer who's looking to buy a non-ceramic black dial Daytona. He said he, he might you might have one. Yeah, he ain't got it in his hand yet, though. Did he tell you that? No, no, yes, no. But he said you might have one also. Oh, the one I have bought, um, I bought it for, um, like, for my uncle. Oh, okay. So that's not for sale. I'll pick it up. No, but yeah.
Did you buy one off of a customer on the phone yesterday? Yeah, he said 250 and everything with it. Yeah, they give me his word, said it's 100% coming, but I, like he shouldn't really tell you until it's in his hand, do you know what I mean? Alright, um, there's no that's, panic. That's meant to be Monday. Listen, if it helped you out, you could take my one, I've got to pay for it, but when I pick this other one, I'll pick it up within an hour, I'll right. send you photos of it anyway, and if it helps you out, then you can take it and just... We're working out, do you know what I mean? Okay, mate. No worries, mate. Well, I'll be on you. Alright, bro. I'll send you some photos when I get it anyway, alright, mate? Thanks, mate. Speak to you soon. How are you doing? You okay? Aye, oh, so I'm alright. So, what is it? A ladies' day trust or is it a day trust? No, I'm inside. Yeah. And how much is John quoted? Six. You won't look, you know? You won't. Mainly just an AD builder. Just to get a good oh, thing. No, I love it, mate, but. Um, I got a phone call yesterday, I wasn't expecting it. But uh, I've been in for an Explorer 2. Uh, Good dial. God, black, God, right? uh, black, yeah. black dial, so I'm sat there out of the blue, it just comes. So I've, and to be honest, I wasn't expecting it for about a year. Mm -hmm. Did you want one of them when you got this one? Did you put your name yeah, down and say yeah. you want one? Yeah. So it, it's like, it's taking us off guard, but it's a means to an end, you know? Yeah, of course. So, Free of something that. Yeah. You don't want as much and obviously like we have a couple of uh, explorers in stock. Okay. Mm-hmm. Black and white, both of them. Got many other watches? I've got a tour of black beer and, and that. Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of like Seagulls that I mm -hmm. about. Oh, yeah, I am kind of trying to work the way up the Rolex ladder. Mm -hmm. Like everyone. Right. Baby yeah. steps, baby steps. Baby steps. Nice watch for it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, but it was always me um, that was always going to go. Mm -hmm. I even said to you, Jay, listen, because I want the two tone version of it. Mm -hmm. So I was always going to end up getting rid of yeah, the train up. Enough. But um, I think with the goldsmiths, I, I don't see if they have a problem if, you, if you're selling something to get another one. Oh, okay. I, I mean, don't think, I don't think it would anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like you say, the the Explorer the 2 is the one I want. You know, I, I, I love it. Um, Explorer is a good watch. Yeah, and I don't want to be uh, another person walking about with either of somewhere now. So when are you getting that then? When are you getting the Explorer? Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I mean, a good thing, this one, this is, it's a bit of a grill one for me, this, this is still... One that you just want to keep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got a bit of sentimental value. Mm -hmm. It's uh, recently had a bit of a bereavement and the way it's worked out, you know, you like to believe yeah, in your head that mm -hmm. things are meant to be and... Um, Ah, this one's coming on. At least, you, at least you, you get what you want, and obviously you can try it more. Know, okay. Obviously, you like this, but it's not something that you really love. Compared that was to always going to go. The the aim was a sports model, you know. And, yeah. And um, I'll be happy to get the Explorer tomorrow, and then um, then the two tone for the for the day test. What's happening? How you doing, mate? I know you're the man for the non-ceramic steel Daytonas. Do you have anything under 20k? Black? Um, yeah, I think I do. Um, I'll check on Monday morning. I'm sure I've got a black box paper um, for the Daytonas. Um, I'll check on Monday morning. I'm sure I've got a black box paper for the Daytonas. It's definitely just under 20k. <laughs> I should have said a bit. I should have said a bit. Do you know how old it is? Let me see if I've got the details on my phone. I might, I've got one, I think I've got black and a white, but I can't remember black and a white. Um, potentially, I think one might be 2000. Just send us, send us over when you get a minute. Just the black one, please. I'll have a look for you and I'll uh, message you in an hour or two. Okay, mate. Take care. Thanks, mate. Ta da, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hello. Hiya, how are you doing? It's Stuart from Watch Trader. Um, yeah, um, my uh, dad was going to deal with you for a uh, roll call. With a face on it. Is he, are you talking about the one on the with the rubber strap or a full bracelet? No, full bracelet. He's looking. He's looking to buy one. Yeah. Okay. Does he want the new dial or old dial? Uh, the he wants. I think it's called the Arabic dial. The one with the numbers. Yeah. Uh, so we don't actually have one in stock at the minute, but price wise, you're probably talking around forty six to fifty k, uh, depending on the con de depending on the condition and the age. I have one in store at the minute, but it's actually sold. Um, but if you want us to look look to how try much, and how much did you sell the one that you had in store for? I think it was forty seven. I think it was forty seven, and it was a two thousand and eighteen used. Two thousand 
definitely any news. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, if we come down and could we sort it out and I could give you a deposit and you could order one in? Let yeah, yeah. Is, is, he, is he tried the watch on before? He knows the one he wants. Okay, because I have it, because I still have the watch here, so he's welcome to come and try it. And if he's happy, we'll obviously we'll look to find him one. It's not for him, you see. It's for, it's, he's getting it for a present. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, no problem, person, no problem. The so, person that wants it wants uh, a rose gold chocolate face with the numbers on it, I think it's called Arabic. I'm yeah, not sure Arabic, Arabic it's dial, called. it's the Arabic dial, it's, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the older one, yeah, no worries. Can I give you a ring back in five minutes, I'll let you know if I can see you today, otherwise I'll see you on Tuesday. Yeah, no problem. Just try a few ones, alright, of course, yeah, crack on. I'd have been up early, right, but I was watching, uh, I realised you got a YouTube channel, right, and um, you had a YouTuber in, like, beginning last month. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you got these out, and he had a green one on. Yeah, he bought, I think he bought a 36 one. Did he? Is that, is that a 41? 41 in the green, yeah, yeah, the bigger size. Which one's that, the pink? Yeah. Yeah, that's a 36. What's the chance of you getting a Tiffany in with these other numbers? I have one, just in the 31. Which green one? I like, it's too girly. I like a bigger watch. Like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want to say nothing. I think I prefer the 41 rather than the pink one. Have you still got the, uh, the Tiffany in the, um, the foreign numbers? That's what I've said. No, the 41. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Arabic, that's just that, that's custom. I can get you that, no problem. Would it? Mm -hmm. So that's just play, and then we can just put the dial in for you. So that's the actual watch. Oh, what's mine? Yeah, the uh, just. Yeah, what's the size of that? 36. What size is this? That's a 40 watch, yeah, man. It's a massive pump back now. A lot of women are wearing bigger watches, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Mine, this is where the 40, man. Mm -hmm. You can get that. You could get with the custom Arabic um, Tiffany Blue dial. What would be the price on that? Uh, around 9k, I'll check you know. Something different, what nobody's going to have. No. What do you sell that for now? Uh, we sell like from 25 onwards, yeah, around that. What's your pay for that? I think 99 for 25. So, when did you buy that? Um, back, about two years back in the night, 2019. Yeah, so two years ago, around 19k. Well, it's not a mark. Perfect, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Don't wear them. I, I literally don't wear them. I don't wear a watch. Just, nice I like them, and I do put them on, don't get me wrong, but like, on a day to day basis, it's not on my wrist. Well, I mean, I've got my Pepsi, brand new, literally. Um, so I'm getting the Arabic dial in either side, but the Arabic dial's. It's not original Rolex, it's just a custom dial. Right, okay. Yeah, so you I can like still that. have the original dial and you can change it and put it back in when you want. Not surprising that's true, right? Josh, how much is the 41 green? Uh, nine. Got the red also. It's in there. I'm not a fan of red. I'm not a fan of red in the no, I don't like the red. You are. That's, that's a t-shirt, yeah. It looks more orange. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird red. Did they call it coral? Yeah, it's coral red. red. What's the difference in price between the 41 and the 36? Uh, it's 36 can be 7750 both brand new. 36. What do you reckon? So what are these retail at then? Uh, from an AD? Uh, 4 3, I think, for the 36 yeah. and the 41 49. What's the weight this time? Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Yeah. Would you be interested in that, Stu? Mm -hmm. You used to you? Well, you as well. I've literally, yeah, literally a handful of times wore it. Mm -hmm. One of them I thought. Got something different, but I don't know. Never really been stuck on anything. Most of How much was it for you? I think, I think five. Let's see what it's worth. What did you originally want? Tiffany. I wanted. I want Tiffany. I wanted one back in, in January. Six. What was the what price to say in January? Six out of forty-one. The Tiffany we had the first forty-one, like one of the first ones in the company. I think we were selling for like six seven fifty. Yeah. I wanted it. We ended up trading for sixty-five hundred. Well, yes, in January, didn't we, Brad? Yeah, and he was yeah. going to get me one for eight. 36, Tiffany. And that, then I was in the mood and said, I don't want it, so yeah. I did now. <laughs> it's crazy, like, the 41s are like 13 grand. For 36, a lot of men are wearing them, even though it's a smaller size, it, it still works on the man. I can't, I can't get me a drum, which, which size I prefer. I mean, I haven't got, I haven't got big wrists as it is. So, so what's the difference in price? Two grand? Yeah, I give or take, yeah, pretty much. I do really like this pink, actually. The calming pink. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Cool. I wish they made it in a four yeah. I'd probably wear that. I would. Like, I, I, I wouldn't just send my ring. Chelsea got in pink. Would you? Yeah. They're lovely though because the, the dial actually has quite a bit of depth to it. You think if it was yeah. matte and just flat, they wouldn't look as, as yeah, good. I just but it, I don't they know. almost look like wet, like yeah, yeah. slick, you know? Yeah. What we say on that show? Tenner. 
No, <laughs> probably like two grand. Right. I'll give two grand. I'll chop that in then. Carrera Hoya One. Hoya One, I think it's called. <laughs> well, sorry, what, uh, what size? The bigger one. The bigger one. Mm. The smaller one looks a slightly different colour. It does actually. It's it probably just because of the case size with the reflection, maybe. So what are we saying on the on the five one, Josh? Nine. Is that is that is that the best price? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Premium. How much is it online for? Overnight. What's the price in the pink one? This one. Mhm. Mm uh, ten. And what's the price on the Tiffany? What's going to say? What size is that? Josh, this is more than ten. This is like eleven grand. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. He said ten. It's on the enough. website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the 36mm is up for 8 on the website, uh, the 41mm is up for 10.5 and the red one's 10.5. So one can, you do, can, can, that be, can this be 10 grand? No, 9 grand. 9 grand. Yeah, How much is it online for? 10 grand. 10.5. That can be nine grand. How can it be nine grand? It's online. It can be nine grand. How can you put it? Because he said. Because I bought the one I wrote, trust me, it can be nine grand. Yeah? Yeah, a million percent. Grand, come on. Happy with that. And the pink 36? It's on for 11, but I've already said nine. But it can be. I like Josh. I don't think Stewie does. I hope both of them. I don't know what it can be. The rarest one out of the 36 is probably the pink one. Well, that one only yeah. goes to a 36, yeah, exactly. they don't make a 41. Do they not? No. I will, I will wear both. You won't? No, I will. No, you no, won't. No, I will. You'll have to get the Tiffany. Get the yeah, Tiffany get the Tiffany and then you can wear both now, love it. <laughs> Which one should Mammy get? Should she get pink that, pink that pink colour or the pink one? Uh, both of them. Oh, get right. it. <laughs> good lad. That wasn't you get a good price if you take all three. There you are, you get a good price if you take all three. Nothing to do, thank you. <laughs> I think we've got a good price, you too. I'm sold on pink. I'll have the, I'll have the Tiffany next week. <laughs> so are we having the, are we having the pink and the green, yeah? Okay. Do you want to take the pink? Yeah. You said to me? Right. What numbers are you looking at cards now? Uh, 914. 914. In 796. How much would it be to get rid of the diamond for that, for the pink? The custom dial? Uh, probably like, maybe 350? So you can have the blue? No, so I could have the custom dial in that one. It's like pink with Arabic? Yeah, I can double check we're probably around that. Why are you watching the game then tomorrow? Shut up. Oh yeah! No way! Mm. Happy days mate, well done. Are you going well down? Well Are you going down in the strip? Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, going. Man. Yeah. Unreal. Wow. Have you been in New Wembley before? Uh, yeah, once. Well, right. before too, I'm not like an actual game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best game you could go to. Oh, mate, unbelievable. I mean, I've got the list of like all the things I've got. So like, obviously like, because I don't know, I, I was like, do I just buy Richard Mille for like 200 or 250 or whatever the fuck it is and then like, potentially maybe 50k in a year or two years i don't know like we don't know what's going to happen with the market yeah, but like it's, you know it's, it's, it's softened it's... like a pick a mix of like all different watches and he recommended me to buy like a pick a mix of all different ones because obviously i wanted to wear some at the same time yeah probably um, better but the richard mills maybe softened off a little bit at the minute but you know if you're going back 12 months and you would have said a richard mill no worries but it's, you can't go back on hindsight, so it's always good. Rolex is always safe, you know, so you should be, you should be fine. Right. So shall I? So basically, what what I'll do? I've got. One, two, three. Yeah, I've got like fifteen. If I send you like the list of like ones that I've got, you mm -hmm. tell me like what ones are good for me to probably sell now, like with the market, like where it is, and which ones to maybe hold, mm -hmm. and then I can just like sell them with you, and then I can just buy the white gold green dial when you get it yeah, yeah. and then like offload because I don't want to hold the point is I don't want to hold some watches me thinking oh the longer I hold them the better it will be when it's actually like well they're hot now and you'll probably do better just selling them now and keep it free I don't I, 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 it depends depends what you're going to put your money into because personally I think a lot of things have softened off you're not going to see a massive increase but then again you're not going to see any decrease. I don't see the, uh, especially with Rolex models going down. So if you're not putting your money to, into anything else, which you think is going to earn your money, 
you know there's, uh, there's no there's no harm in having the watches until the time comes when you want to, to buy something else or move the funds into something else that's 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 what i'm that's my advice well like last year i bought a fucking rose gold Skydweller, Rose and Dio, I paid forty two thousand dollars. The same watch is sixty two thousand dollars this year. Yeah, you are you're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see that. You're not gonna see that going forward. I wouldn't have thought so. One off, wasn't it? Yeah, so that watch is probably trading for around forty five K pounds. No. Which is mad, I paid forty two thousand dollars, which is like thirty fucking something thousand. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna. It's things are softened off. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna stay firm price wise. Things will increase over time, personally in my view. But you're not gonna see the big jumps. Then again, so when you come to things like Basel World, well, obviously Rolex don't even do the new models in Basel World. But whenever the uh, the new Rolex models come out, which is normally in March, so if you're holding something which is gonna have a potential hype around it because it could potentially be discontinued, then you're gonna see a spike. Then like what you've seen with all of the Daytonas, mainly like the green and the platinum Daytonas this year, something like that. But uh, but yeah. I would definitely be in no if there would be in no panic itself to think that anything's going to dip. But if you if you can use the cash in other in other directions and potentially get a better better return, it's not an investment. You know, you're not buying these watches really for investment. I would say personally, the more to hold. Money and just enjoy like wearing every now and then. And yeah, then yeah. You've, 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 I, I, by the sounds of it, you've done quite well with some of them. So. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'll send you a little list of what I've got, and then if there's any that you want to buy or like can sign or whatever, and then mm -hmm. I can like well once that you want to buy, I can or we can swap a couple for like a the the day day green dial or like however it works out for you. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. Is that right? So I've got like the invoice, so I'll like send what like I'll send it over. Send it over. Maybe Monday by the time I get round to doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, mate. I'll send it down. No worries. Okay, mate. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.